Hey everyone, it's Ben from Board to Bits, and this is part three of our Unity series on creating our own modular textures in in game. So last time we created our simple black and white gradient, which we see here. We've got the point filter on it, so it's nice and crisp pixels. Now what we want to do though is we actually want to instead of just making our own um, our own textures point by point, we want to start taking existing images and being able to layer them on top of one another. So to start, we need to get that first layer down. That's what we're going to do. To, that's what we're going to do today. So um, let's stop this for a second. You'll notice that I've imported a few textures here. I'll um, put these in a uh, link uh, down in the comments so that you can grab these. Really, you can use any textures you like. Just make sure that they all have the same height and width, and that you know what that height and width are. In this case, these are all 64 by 64 images. There is one other thing you do need to do here, and I wanted to show this, uh, a little bit of housekeeping with these textures, is that when you uh, import them, they're not um, what Unity calls readable, which means that we can't in our code go, go into an image and look at a single pixel of it. We can't get pixels from it. So what we need to do is we can't use um, the sprite or the texture, texture types because that doesn't give us that option to make it readable. What we're going to do is we're going to go down to advanced, down here. So if you go select any or uh, river, um, you can select one at a time or you can select all three of them. Go to texture type, advanced, and we're going to check off read write enabled. And that's going to give us the ability to um, look at the pixels in the image and take them out so that we can put them into our custom image. We'll apply that. Now we can dive into the code here. So let's start, jump over to mono develop. We're going to create a public variable here. It's going to be a texture 2D. And this is just going to be called, we're just going to call this, um, we'll do SRC for source. Because right now we're just using this one source image. Eventually these are going to be layers, but you know, taking this one step at a time. Right now we have a source image. So let's jump back over here. We should see that appear. And I'm going to add our my circle texture here to that image or to that um, to that class. So now that we have a texture in there, what we can do is instead of getting colors based on our just lerp function here, we can actually take colors from the source image and bring them into the um, bring them into the image. Now technically speaking at this point we could use a function called get pixels. We could just say color brackets, you know, final or source array equals get pixel uh, source dot get pixels. And this will do exactly what we did with our set pixels but in reverse. It gets us this array, and then we could just dump that array right in here. But the problem with that is that we're not then able to, for a single layer, that's fine, because you're just literally copying and pasting the image over. But once we want to start layering these pixels on top of one another, we, need, we do need to get that a little bit more fine-grained control over it. So instead, what we can do, we do want to keep a source array here, because in the same way that we... Um, Actually, we guess we'd want to do that exactly. Ignore me for one second. <laughs> what we do want to do here is say get pixels source dot get pixels because we do want to get that array for the same reason that we didn't want to set individual pixels every time. We also don't want to get individual pixels every time. So we do want to have this source array. We don't just want to then dump it right into here. Instead, what we're going to do is we're going to say color source pixel equals, and so now what we're going to do is we're going to grab a single color out of this um, array. And that single color is going to be source array, and it's actually going to be the exact same index that this is right here. So we could do this a couple ways. We could just copy and paste that index that we found like that. It's probably even better for us to go int index equals and paste that there. 
So we can make that a little bit more, um, we'll say pixel index, a little bit more informative. And then we can just say pixel index for both of these. And the last thing we need to do here <clears throat> is make sure that we say that the color we want for our pixel index in our final color array is going to be source pixel. So now what we're doing is we're creating an array and filling it with all of the pixels from that original layer, our circle image right now. And then for each pixel, we are gonna just basically transfer that color from the array to the other array. And then we're gonna dump those all into our final color array. So now when we go back to Unity, save, we should see this circle image appear right on screen. And it does not. And that's mysterious. I'm going to have to investigate this a little bit. Please hold. And we are back because I realized I did something very silly, which is that I did not actually um, reset the size. So this was doing what we told it to do. It was just getting um, all blank, all empty pixels because it was just getting like the very top corner of the texture. What I need to do is change this to 64 and 64. Hit save. Actually, it would be even better if I had this no, um, basically the size of the original texture. So I'm just gonna say source.width source.height, so we don't have this mistake happen again. Play, go back here. Now we should be able, I'm gonna zoom this view out a little bit, hit play, and there we see it. There we go. That is the, that is the image we want to be seeing. We um, copied, like I say, every pixel from this image here. It went, this is empty, so we're just gonna put a put a blank pixel, blank pixel, blank, 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 blank. Once it starts hitting the pink of the circle, copying those two. So now we are able to take an individual image um, and put it into our custom texture. Next time we're gonna look at actually taking multiple textures and layering them on top of one another. Thanks for watching. Thank you.